But you mentioned after you look at the pitch, before you look at the pages, you look at the biography. What are you looking to see in that biography that's going to make a difference? I don't even know how much it makes a difference, but I just, I'm just curious and I like to know. Um, I like it if someone is like, just seems like they are treating this like a professional thing. So if you are a member of SCBWI, I like to know that. If you've published in literary journals or poetry, I like to know that. If um, if there's something about your background that's relevant to the book, I like to know that. Um, I actually, I don't represent her anymore, but I still um, highly recommend her, Kelly Ford, who is an adult thriller writer. Um, she's one that when I was very early in my career, she wrote kind of like a winter's bone type adult thriller. Um, I don't represent those anymore. That's why I don't represent her anymore. Please don't send me your winter's bone adult thrillers. Although I do love the movie winter's bone. Um, but, but the pitch sounded like it was maybe going to be a little cliche. And then I read her bio and she was like, I grew up, you know, in, she grew up like in the foothills of Arkansas or whatever. She had a, a direct relevant experience um, to the setting of this book. And I was like, oh, well actually maybe it's not gonna be cliche because maybe she's bringing something to it that um, that is a little bit more authentic or a little bit different. And then I, I, that encouraged me to request it and I did love it. She really was bringing something new. That book is called Cotton Mouths. It did come out. Um, she has a new book coming out this year called, I think like real bad things. Maybe I don't represent it, but, um, that kind of thing, like there might be something in the bio that gives me some context for why you wrote it or, um, what you might be bringing to it that might be helpful, but it's not make or break. I mean, I've definitely signed authors where the bio was just like, I'm a debut author. I live in this place. I have three cats. Great. My mom says my book is amazing. Sure. <laughs> Maybe not that. <laughs> That's actually a red flag. People do say that. Or it's usually my kids or my grandkids think my book is amazing. Um, Any credence if it's my students? No, because your students know you. They like you. <laughs> I, I represent several teachers. Um, I think especially... In middle grade, quite a few of my clients are middle school teachers or fifth grade teachers. Um, but like their own students' opinions about their book are are colored by the fact that they love them. Like it's beloved Mrs. So-and-so. Um, so it's just a little bit different. Um, and I don't think that any of my middle school teacher clients put in their bios that their clients love their book. They did put that they were teachers, which I always like to see, but they didn't add that like, and I've, I've used my students as a crowdsourced focus group <laughs> to see if this is good. Your book is terrible. I hope I pass your class. Have a nice <laughs> right. <time. laughs>